Hi guys, Ryu here with Narrative for Blender. Let's have some fun with Mesh Machine. So we got a sphere in here. We're gonna grab the normals. So we're going to uh, stash them. And we're going to boolean this. So let's boolean this with a circle. And in fact, you know what? I think I'm gonna switch it to a uh, join boolean. So something like that. Select both and stash it one more time. And now I'm going to actually combine this and hide that uh, boolean. So now we got one mesh, right? <clears throat> now let's actually clean this up a little bit because it's gonna be a it's a bit of a mess after the boolean as usual. So let's clean it up a bit. So select the edge around. Now we're gonna run the boolean cleanup. So the trick here is to switch between the two modes with your mouse wheel and select the one that does the least amount of damage. And you move your mouse until all the red verts disappear, at least in this case, because not always, not always is the best solution, but basically more or less that's the idea. So let's remove this one here. We do need to do a little bit of a manual cleanup because, whoa, Oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Uh, okay then, let's do something like this for a second. And there we go, and we can actually combine this in here. That's fine. And this one definitely needs to move, because that's too close, we can remove this. Same story here, literally just, you know, run an edge around otherwise it's gonna be a disaster this angle over there is too steep so we're gonna remove it and well this could technically be okay but i'm probably gonna remove this one and connect here and this one is too close and this one is very bad idea you don't want double edges like this running in here I uh, probably want to remove this one a little bit further and, you know, we could, we should probably combine these ones as well because I want to remove that edge over there. These kind of edges running, you know, like two edges running into one vert, disaster. Uh, it's just bad news. This one too, just let's remove it. Come on. We can combine these two if you want. It's okay. What I want to do now is actually run... Um, a parameter loop in here, okay? So, I want to run an offset. So, uh, let's go to um, Y menu and go to offset. But now, you see that the offset, right? You have two, two options as well, but you see the offset, it goes above the mesh. It doesn't go, you know, on top of the mesh, right? So, that's a bit of a problem. Now, with control, you can actually um, change how uh, the mesh lands and how the mesh connects with the mesh underneath uh, you're still gonna have to do some cleaning so let's do something like this and let's see hmm okay this is too far this could work. So you use Control and Alt to basically fix this. But you can see that we got a bit of a problem because now this mesh that we are actually merging here to the verts, we cannot see this one here, so let's go to occlude mode for a second. It's actually floating above the surface, so that's not you know that's not ideal, right? Um it's gonna be a bit of a problem. But don't worry, we can fix this. So, first of all, let's remove the double verse here because this is going to be a disaster. So, all this junk needs to go. And this one as well. And this one. Whoops, not this one, this one. And this one. No, come on. Let's see that. This one, this one. This one, this one. There's not a edge in here, there we go, let me see around, I think we're fine, 
kind of. I select this one. Oh, there's something else going on in here. Well, let's just clean it with the machine and see if we're going to be okay. Nope. So let's see what's going on in here. Probably double vert or something. Let's combine these two and see if it's going to fix the problem. There we go. And now what we're going to do, we're going to run conform. And conform, actually, what it does, it runs a, a shrink wrap modifier on this rim, which means it's using the normal transfer data uh, to um, literally um, kind of glue it on top of this at uh, this edge. Now that, you know, we can run a huge bevel in here, right? And by doing so, you have gotten yourself a perfect boolean so now if i'm going to go to uh, change my matcap to something a bit more aggressive like this you can see that the shading is perfect and if something is not right like a little bit here it's probably due to the really bad topology so you know you can clean it up a little bit before you do uh, do this just you know because this is a bit of a pig i'm not gonna lie you know verse like this i mean there's a limit to what you can do uh, with this kind of a bad topology, but again, uh, once you clean this up, you should be fine. You should be fine. So anyway, uh, we can do this again. So select this edge, expand selection, remove the bevel from the selection because you don't want to do that one, because uh, bevel has a different angle of normals, right? And then run. Uh, you can run the uh, uh, normal transfer, and you know and see the issue is fixed in here so and that's your perfect boolean uh, with a perfect offset and a really really large bevel this is extremely difficult to achieve um, you know with such perfect shading uh, without a mesh machine anyway guys that's it for me for today hope you enjoyed the vid and if you want to buy a machine uh, add-ons the links are in the video description so go ahead and get them fantastic add-ons Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.